This is our front yard. And I needed to graze it for a little bit now. I don't like to get out the lawnmower because I've got hoses and kids toys and um, more hoses. And so I don't like to mow the lawn because it kind of interrupts our life. I have to get everybody to move everything and everybody gets cranky about it and I get cranky about it and then I still have to get out the lawnmower and do it. So I have two little tie outs and I just made the ropes out of twine. And the reason that I have covered the trees now is not because of the two does, it's because of the babies. And it's the same reason that I have electric fences. The electric fences are not for the mamas that are tied out. It's because I cannot put the babies on ropes and have them be able to get to the mom free will whenever they want to or need to. And then if babies can't get to mama when they need and want to, then they don't grow as fast and you want them to grow as fast as they possibly can, especially if they're meat animals. So I have come out and covered my trees with baby proof wire. And I need to come out and do the peach. I didn't realize I hadn't done it yet. I need to just cover the trunk. Again, if trees have their leaves eaten, um, as long as all their leaves don't get eaten, they will recover. If, however, their bark on their trunk gets girded, which means to go all the way around, it kills the tree. Little strips of bark can be taken, but if it gets taken all the way around, it'll kill it, for the, usually. Um, we do have some trees in the back that that's not the case, but they came from the roots of huge trees, and so it is kind of a different story there. Those trees will just always keep coming back because the tree roots are so strong. And can you see how they just about twisted? This is the first time they've been up here. I just, I just barely got the new ropes put on. I need to make chamomile's rope just a tiny bit shorter so that they cannot cross. If they cross, they'll choke because then they'll sit and fight with each other over who was supposed to give when they cross ropes. So always make sure if you have your animals close to each other that their ropes cannot cross, that they can just barely meet water in the middle. And that way you only have to get water one time. It gives water to both goats. And the other thing is, in order for the picket system to work, you have to have animals that can um, either, either you have to have animals that can handle being away from other animals, which goats are not those animals, or you need to have them all ga grazing close enough to each other that they don't get under stress. We had a really, really nice little uh, mini alpine doe. She gave the nicest milk I've ever had. She, but... And she had a wonderful bag. She, it was like milking a regular doe. She just had lots of space and nice teats and easy, easy orifice. We loved her. However, she could not handle being away from the other goats. Um, she had to have all of the goats within her sight, um, which meant that I couldn't have any animals up here grazing in the front, and I couldn't have any, any animals in the back that she couldn't see. Um, better yet, she couldn't touch. And at the time I had seven goats. And so it was really, it really would have been hard for me to have everybody grazing together without a whole bunch of pickets. So she would pace. Her name was Emerald. She would pace and pace and pace and cry and cry and cry. And when you're pacing and crying, you don't eat. So what happens when a milk goat doesn't eat? Well, she doesn't make any milk. So Emerald only made us a pint of milk per milking. And even though she was a mini alpine, that still wasn't enough to make it worth our while to keep her around. We should have been getting a lot more milk than that. So we sold her even though we loved her because for one thing, it, did, it didn't occur to me that I could have just cut back on goats and, and bought more pickets and just had everybody graze in the same spot. Now I recognize that you can do that because these girls are the same. If they're not calm and happy, then they will not make milk because they won't eat. If they don't eat, they don't make milk. So you need to have calm, happy animals, and the way to do that is to have all of their friends and loved ones close at hand, because you see how well they're eating right now. So at this point, the only thing you really have to worry about is babies eating trees.
And I've already shown you how I make the one with the uh, digger link and the lids, right? And then this one is a regular dog tie out that had been bent, so I hammered it back into shape and put it in the ground here. And I will just watch and see how much damage these babies do. Hopefully they have a lot of fun playing on the wood chip pile. Huh, Dad?